Hi students, so the first part of assignment 11 uh, is about sentence fragments. In a sentence fragment, there's a big something missing. That's why this picture has a big missing puzzle piece because a sentence fragment, fragment means that it's not a complete sentence because it's missing something. So let's talk more about that. So what makes a sentence complete? Hopefully you've already gone over this at least somewhat in your English 21 class. So for a sentence to be complete, it must pass three tests. It has to have at least one subject, so we have to know who or what it's about. It has to have at least one verb, and we have to know what's happening in the sentence, and it must express a complete thought. It has to do all three of these things. So even if it has a verb, but it doesn't com express a complete thought, that means it's not a complete sentence. It's a sentence fragment. It has to do all three of those things. So let's look at an example. A new U.S. president. So why is this a fragment? This is a fragment because we're missing a verb, right? Well, what about the new U.S. president? What is he doing or what's a characteristic of him? Let's look at another one. Was elected. So why is this one a fragment? Well, this one, unlike the other one, is a fragment because we're missing a subject. We know what's going on. Someone was elected, but we don't know who. We're missing a subject. That was, that's what makes this one a fragment. And this example, when the new U.S. president was elected. So what's the problem with this one? We have a subject, right? The new U.S. president. We have a verb, was elected. But what's the problem? The problem is it's not a complete thought. It's an incomplete thought. We're kind of left hanging, right? Well, what happened when the new U.S. president was elected? Ooh. All right, so next part of this discussion of fragments is what is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words that is missing a subject or a verb or both, so it cannot stand alone as a sentence. Feel free to pause the video and take notes anytime you'd like. So, phrase, it's missing something. It can't stand its own as a sentence. It's missing a subject or a verb or sometimes even both. So, just like this dude here who's falling over, it can't stand alone. Think of it as falling over. It can't maintain its own body. It can't stand by itself. It needs something else. So, which one of these is a phrase? The Lethal Weapon movies have two stars, period. Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Hopefully you can see that the second part's the phrase, right? The phrase is missing a verb. We just have Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. To correct it, we could just actually combine the two. The Lethal Weapon movies have two stars, comma, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Oftentimes it's easy to uh, correct a phrase by just combining it with um, a sentence next to it. So in this case, which one's the phrase? Sequels have been made for many popular action movies, period, such as Lethal Weapon and Die Hard. Hopefully again, you could notice that it's the second one that's the phrase, such as Lethal Weapon and Die Hard. The phrase this time is missing a verb. So to correct it, we could just say sequels have been made for many popular action movies, comma, such as Lethal Weapon and Die Hard. Now we have a correct sentence. Which one of these is the phrase? He made the decision, period, to become a paralegal, period. The second one, right? To become a paralegal is missing a subject. Who, who's gonna become a paralegal, right? So we can correct that one by just combining them. He made the decision to become a paralegal. So which one is incomplete? The moon was full and round, period rising over the ocean, period. The second one, right? Keep in mind, you can never have just an ing verb as your only verb in a sentence. That's an error, that makes it a phrase. So, to correct it, we could say, the moon was full and round, period. It was rising over the ocean, right? We need that it was to make it a complete sentence. Which one's incomplete this time? I saw the sun, period hidden behind the clouds, period. The second part, right? Just like with the other one, we need to add, it was. I saw the sun, period. It was hidden behind the clouds. And which one of these is incomplete? After Jeanette got a full-time job, period, she was able to begin paying off her loans. After Jeanette got a full-time job, right? So in the other ones, we were used to having the incomplete part come second, in this case, it actually comes first. The reason this is an incomplete thought is because of this word after. 
This is one of those dependent words or subordinating conjunctions that creates a situation where it needs a complete sentence or an independent clause to go with it. So we can actually correct it by saying, after Jeanette got a full-time job, comma, she was able to begin paying off her loans. Take a second to think. Anyone remember what kind of sentence this is from last week? I'll give you a second. Hopefully you remember it's a complex sentence, right? It's a complex sentence because we have a dependent clause with an independent clause. All right, so that's a little lesson about fragments. Always make sure when you're proofreading your work that every sentence has a subject, a verb, and a complete thought, and then you will know your paper is free of sentence fragments.